I am Linda Dodson. Are you currently homeless? Yes, I am. And where are you living? Here at the mission. How long have you been homeless? Uh, about a year. And how? I've been here for a year. And how has that been? Since I've come here, it's been good. It keeps my mind off of being homeless because we're basically like a family here and uh, we all pitch in together and it's okay. What is the hardest part of being homeless? Being homeless, uh, not a place of your own, but here, it's good. If you could give a young girl advice, a homeless girl, maybe someone who's just recently, or someone who's recently homeless, what would your advice be to them based off of what you know from the past year? Um, you can come here and pray. God answers prayers, because he answered mine, so. Just, just do what you can and do your best. Yeah. And we are delivering bottled water, and on the bottles we have these words like hope and peace. What does the word hope mean to you? Um, the things are going to get better. And, and I hope things get better. I know they will. Yeah. Here has made a way for me. I am a weekday cook. And I also have a certificate, so when I do leave here, I can take that certificate and go just about anywhere and apply for a job, and hopefully I'll get it. So when you wake up in the morning, you know, we all have that time where it's, you know, you have those few extra minutes, but your eyes are awake, but you're not quite out of the bed yet. What are some of the things that you think of to start your day with? I mean, is it, you know, is it making that connection to God? Is it, is it immediately connecting in on that spiritual level? Yes, And it is. I mean, what is that, what is that scenario for you? Um, well, when I wake up, I thank God for another day and I thank Him for this place and I know He's making things better for me and I just thank Him. And that's why I tell everybody, you know, just trust in God, because mm -hmm. He will open doors. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with that. <laughs> yes, He will. As soon as one closes, He opens doors. Because I was a home health provider 12 years. Things happened, but I was helping people, so He put me back in a position to help other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is your hope for yourself, for your life, or a dream for yourself? Um, getting, doing better, um, a good job. I love cooking, so a good job cooking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good. That's wonderful. Um, I, I'm trying to think if there's... Do you have a question for me? No. But I would like to thank you all for bringing us the water because it helps. Um, you can't go without water. We have a fountain, but bottled water is easier on us, you know. You grab a bottle, go do what we have to do, and we have this bottle of water with us, you know. Good. Well, thank you, and you're welcome. Well, we appreciate it very much, very much. What is that like? What is water and homelessness like? What does that look like to you since you've been homeless on the streets? Uh, water is very crucial to, to, to life. For me it is. And you need water, you know, to survive. You can go for a few days without food, but you can't go without water. And, and I thank you for that because since you've been donating it, we haven't been out without water. Good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay.